Economic Development, ICT, Tourism and Creative Economy Minister Honorable Lennox Andrews says government must create its own digital infrastructure if it is to effectively regulate and facilitate economic activities. He said the way forward must be driven by internet and technology. Minister Andrews was delivering remarks at the ICT Week Forum at the Grenada Trade Center Annex. ICT and digitization have been listed among areas of priority for the Deacon Mitchell-led administration as pillars that will promote economic development. Minister Andrews says the trust of government and his ministry is to get to a place where there are no gaps and barriers and everyone will have equal access to technology. All citizens must have equitable access to reliable and secure internet connectivity and must have smart devices to go online. There must be no barrier to what must be literally considered a basic commodity. Where this gap exists, we must seek to quickly identify and bridge them or remove them in real time. This is the present trust of our ministry at this point in time. His remarks focus on the theme, government in a digital age, improving service, empowering communities, and accelerating development. He outlined two projects that will soon be implemented to keep Grenada on the cutting edge and on par with regional and international countries. The Digital Governance for Resilience project, which we commonly call DG4R, and the Caribbean Transformation Digital Project, CADIP. DG4R seeks to achieve the overall goal of a fully digital public service and society. It aims firstly to build the enterprise architecture and enabling institutional, regulatory, and technological environment to construct and deliver e-services. One is a civil registry where citizens can apply for birth, death, marriage, and adoptance certificates and pay for them online or in person. And the other is a tax administration system where citizens can access core tax services and the government can perform core tax administrative processes in a digital environment that is accessible online at kiosk and in person. Minister Andrews commended the Cybersecurity Incident Response Team on the progress made so far in keeping Grenadians safe and informed as the country moves into the digital era. An ongoing initiative of my ministry under this project that I must highlight here is the Grenada CSET Cybersecurity Incident Response Team. Launched just about nine months ago, CSET GND has made tremendous inroads and gained a significant and visible uptake in educating and helping Grenadian citizens and businesses stay safer online. The CSET will eventually mop into a full-fledged national cybersecurity agency. Grenada is also working towards and will soon pass its Data Protection Act, which will lead to the establishment of a data commission. The project will also deliver during the first half of this year a host of digital skills training initiatives done in partnership with the National Training Agency aimed at enhancing the capacity of public officers and the general public so they will acquire the required skill sets necessary to efficiently function and be productive in this new digital paradigm.